All right, ready for lesson 2.7. Um, I'm not sure. I might make this into two short videos. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see how quick this first one goes, and we'll see what happens. All right, so be ready. It might be two separate videos. Okay, but anyways, lesson 2.7 is called Angle Pair Relationships. We're going to be proving some stuff about different pairs of angles. So obviously, if we say pair, we mean two angles, okay? Um, so two at a time, we're going to talk about some things. We've got four theorems and one postulate that show up in this lesson. Two of the postulates, or sorry, two of the theorems we use quite a bit, the postulate we use quite a bit, the other two we don't use very often, okay? And I'll give you those stars again, like I do throughout the year, one star, two star, three star. Remember, one star we don't use very much. Uh, probably show up on a quiz or a test, um, but it's not going to show up on your midterm or your final exam, probably. Uh, two star is pretty important. Definitely show up on quiz and test, maybe, you know, maybe a midterm, probably not final exam. And three stars is really important. We use it all year long. Um, so you got to know that for quiz, test, midterm, final exam, other chapters later on, and so on. All right? So here we go. The first one is called Theorem 2.3. Remember, do not memorize them by number. If you write down on your paper for your homework, Theorem 2.3, I won't know what it is. I don't have them memorized by number. Um, so this is how you're going to memorize it. Right Angles Congruence Theorem. You can memorize it by name or by what it says, okay? Either one is fine, okay? Now, this name kind of gives it away. Right angles, congruence. Remember, a theorem can be proven. I'm either gonna do that in the second half of this video or the, the second video, okay? But right angles, congruent theorem. All this theorem says, very simple, all right angles are congruent. Okay, you could say congruent to each other you could actually put this into an if-then statement. Okay? If two angles are right angles, then they are congruent to each other. Okay? Something like that. Okay? That's all it says. It's really simple. All right angles are congruent. Like I said, we're going to prove that later on. Okay? So that's all you need to know for that one for right now. Okay? Theorem 2.4. Again, do not memorize it by number. You may memorize it by its name or by what it says. Now this one's a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to read it to you out of your book, and then I may try to uh, shorten it up a little bit. But it says if two angles are supplementary to the same angle or to two congruent angles, then they are congruent to each other. It's actually slightly longer than what's in the book. But there's not much of a good way to shorten that up. So I'm going to say that again. I'll write it out for you as well. If two angles are supplementary and that's why it's called the congruent supplements theorem, because we're talking about being supplementary. If two angles are supplementary to the same angle, I usually put this in parentheses, or to two congruent angles, then the angles are congruent to each other. Other. Okay, so make sure you get that written down. However, we don't use this one a lot. This is just a one star. Let me go back up here. This is three. We use this quite a bit. Okay, so one and three. All right, I will talk more about this one in class because I know it gets a little confusing. Okay, but basically what we're saying is let's say that angle A and angle B are both supplementary to angle X. Then angle A and angle B have to be congruent to each other. Right? But I will talk about this more in class. If I forget to, for some reason, just remind me. So maybe jot a little um, note in your notes. Remind Mr. Oates to talk about this in class. Or leave a gap in your notes so that when we talk about it, you can add some information to it. Okay. Next one, theorem 2.5, congruent complements theorem. So it's basically the exact same thing, except this word supplementary we're going to replace with the word complementary. And again, it's just a one-star theorem. We don't use it a ton. We don't use it a lot. Okay. If two angles are complementary, okay, that's the only change in this whole thing, to the same angle or to two congruent angles, then the angles are congruent to each other. 
Okay, so just like it worked for congruent supplements, it works for congruent complements as well. So if angle P and angle Q are both complementary to angle you know, W, then angle P and Q have to be congruent to each other. Okay, like I said, I will talk more about this in class. All right. Okay, postulate 12. Actually, you know what? Let me backtrack to these real quick. Um, when we talk about them in class, I'm going to use I'm going to use your answers to, to help kind of explain this. So here's what I want you to do real quick. Somewhere just off to the side. All right. Hopefully you remember supplementary means that the two angles add to equal what? Hopefully you're thinking 180. And complementary is two angles that add to equal what? 90. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I want you um, somewhere in your notes. I want you to write down what angle measurement would be supplementary to a 50 degree angle. Okay, so everybody write that in your notes right near the congruent supplements theorem. What angle is supplementary to a 50 degree angle? Okay, get that answer and write it down. Okay, now for congruent complements theorem. Okay, congruent complements theorem. Let's see. I want you all to come up with an answer for this one. What angle is complementary Remember, complements means they add to equal 90, okay? What angle is complementary to a 75 degree angle? What angle is complementary to a 75 degree angle? Everybody write down the answer to that one on your own paper, okay? Bring those answers with you to class, and then we're going to discuss those a little bit more, okay? All right, next one, postulate 12. All right, does anyone remember what the difference is with a postulate versus a theorem? You guys remember? What's the difference? Postulate, theorem. Theorems we can prove. Postulates we cannot. Okay? Theorems can be proven, postulates cannot. All right? Linear pair postulate. All right, let's go back. What was a linear pair again? You guys remember the definition? Two angles that were adjacent. So that means they have to share a vertex. So there's one angle. And they form one set of opposite rays. So let's get my opposite ray here. They share that side. So this angle is actually different than the other angle. Now, we talked about this before, and I told you we'd talk about why it's true later on. Okay, so what do we say was true about these two angles if I added them? You guys remember, they have to add to equal 180. Okay, what does it mean when two angles add to equal 180? They are, just like we talked about up here, supplementary. So the linear pair posture just says linear pairs are supplementary. That's all it says. Easy, four words. So you can memorize it by name or by what it says, but you definitely need to know what it says too. But in a proof, it might be easier to just write real quick linear pair postulate. Okay, but it says linear pairs are supplementary. That's it, real simple. You could turn it into an if-then statement. If two angles are a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Either way is fine, okay? But you've got to know that linear pairs have to be supplementary because some people get it confused with our next one, which is the vertical angle theorem. Okay, vertical angles, you guys remember what vertical angles are? So we got something like this, right? Vertical angles, they still share a vertex, but they form two sets of opposite rays. So it's this angle and this angle or it could be the left angle and the right angle. Either one is fine. They're both considered a set of vertical angles, okay, top and bottom, or left and right. Now, what do we know about vertical angles? You guys remember we talked about this before as well, and I told you we'd tell you why later on. Here's the why. Vertical angles are what? You guys remember? Congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. Okay, linear pairs are supplementary, vertical angles are congruent. Don't mix the two up. I get some people want to say vertical angles are supplementary. Well, you're going to get it wrong. Linear pairs are congruent. No, you're going to get it wrong. Okay, this will show up on your quiz. It will show up on your test. It will show up on your midterm. It will show up on your final exam. So that tells you these are three star theorems and postulate. We use them a lot later on in the year. You've got to know those two. Don't memorize them by number. Don't, I, I will never ask you, what does postulate 12 say? I will ask you, what does the linear pair postulate say? Okay, I will never ask you, what does theorem 2.6 say? 
but I will ask you, what does the vertical angle theorem say? Or I'll give you a picture like this, and I'll say, what do you know about these two angles? And you should say, they're congruent. And then I'll say, well, why? Why are they congruent? Because of the vertical angle theorem. That's it. It's really simple, but it's really hard if you don't have them memorized. If you don't have them memorized, you won't get it right. If you do have a memorized, you just have to remember when to apply them, okay? That's our first video. It looks like it only lasted about 10 minutes or so, so that's pretty good. So I'm gonna get that one on, then I'm gonna come back with a second video here. Uh, so make sure you watch both. Don't just watch one video.